<laughs> well, uh, good morning, First Christian Church and West Point. Uh, I'm doing this a little bit early today because I have another appointment before too long. So I thought I was going to go someplace else, and uh, one of the elders said, Hey, have you done the train museum? I said, I have not. And I don't know why I've never done it before. So right down here, Sam Willett Transportation Museum, open Thursday and Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to noon, 1 to 5. And it's right down the road here. Um, and so I've never gone. I was like, why haven't I gone? And you know what? Talking to some other people, a lot of other people haven't gone either. But why not? West Point, from what, I'm, what I understand, and I'm getting this from people around, West Point was built around the train tracks, was around, around the station. You know, so why not? It's part of our, our DNA here. It's part of our heritage. So I would encourage you, and I'm encouraging myself in the same way, go check out the museum. I want to go. Uh, from what I understand, someone who was high up in the in the railroad industry helped design this, put everything in, whatever the case may be. I want to go. So I'm hoping that you will too. So check out the, the train museum. Uh, it is near Frank's, and you can just head on over and check it out. All right. So uh, announcements. I don't have a lot of announcements today. One, there is a board meeting on Sunday after church. So what does that mean? Everybody who is a chair committee head needs to make sure that they have all of their minutes into the office today so that we can have everything reprinted, ready to go for this weekend. So after the church service on Sunday, we are having the board meeting. So uh, please make sure you're ready for that. Also, the Prairie Arts Water Giveaway is going to be on the 31st. It's right around the corner. Now, there is a sign-up sheet in the foyer. And people are signing up for half hour time slots. But that doesn't mean only those people who signed up can come and give away water. We want to encourage you. It's really cool or it's really neat when the family of Christ at First Christian comes together and helps each other with these things. So if you're at the Prairie Arts and you want to swing by and hand out water or just come hang out with us for a while, please do. I'm going to be there from the, from the beginning, from the very first start until it closes. Yeah, or when we run out of water. So uh, make sure you're there. We would love to see you. So that's coming up in just a couple of weeks, the Prairie Arts uh, Festival, giving out water. Sign up, come by, see us, give out some water. Have a good time. All right. Um, I was looking in Luke this morning, and I was looking in verse or chapter 11, and I just want to throw this out there, but we got to be careful. All of us, every single person, every single one of us, we have to be careful on what we allow into our lives. Because this, this is what Jesus says. This, he says this. No one lights a lamp and puts it in a place where it is hidden or under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand so that those who come in may see the light. Your eye is the, uh, the lamp of your body. When your eyes are healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body also is full of darkness. See to it then that the light within you is not darkness. Therefore, if your whole body is full of light and no part of it is dark, it will be just as full of light as when a lamp shines its light on you. You got to be careful what you look at. Because the things that he's saying in this, hey, when you let those bad things in, it penetrates inside you. Watch what you look at. Watch your eyes. Because what you let in changes your light or makes you not light. That's why Jesus even said it's not what your food that comes in, but it's what's in your heart that comes out that makes you unholy, unhealthy got to watch ourselves. we got to watch ourselves. Make sure that we are whole and holy light and holy. All right. I love you guys. Love you, love, love you. I will see you. Uh, if I see you sometime this week, awesome. If I don't see you until Sunday, praying for you, love on you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Have an amazing day. Check out the train museum. It's right down there. You got the times. See you soon. All right. Bye, everybody.